Hey neighbors, a buddy of mine that I sell a lot of hay to, uh, his daughter, who has the goats and ponies and stuff that the hay is for, was wondering where the hay actually comes from. She doesn't know how square balers are made. So Peyton, this video is going to be for you, and I'll show you how it's done. In order to explain how this works, I'm first going to show you a baler, then I'm going to show and tell you about the baler so you can put it all together. So here's a clip of the baler working. So you see that the hay is going into the machine, and you see the hay is coming out of the machine, but you maybe don't understand actually what's happening. What I want to do is give you sort of a chronological or a, a sequence of events as far as what happens to the hay. First off, I'm going to explain a feature that's probably really obvious but not understood. This right here, now, this is called the PTO shaft, power takeoff. It takes engine or it takes power from the tractor to spin the mechanism and create uh, a drive in the machine. The flywheel is a really heavy, dense piece of weight, and all it does is provide momentum to the machine, because out inside the machine there's a, a paddle or a ram that packs the hay. And you can't do that with power off the PTO alone. You have to have a lot of force, a lot of force created by this momentum. So as this thing spins, it creates the power and the impact to compress and drive the hay. What, Maisie? All right, I gotta do a video. Watch out, Maisie. I gotta do a video. Come on, excuse me. All right, I, I, I'm doing a video. Doing a video, Maisie. Okay, down here is where the hay gets picked up. You saw that in the video, that's pretty obvious. What you might not see is these four little claws down here. See inside there? One, two, three, four. You got four little claws in there. What those do is it grabs the hay to pulls it up into the chamber. So as the hay gets picked up like this, the auger sends it to the middle and then you have a claw that goes like that. In the video you hear a ka-tonk, ka-tonk, ka-tonk. That's the claw going through the cycle. What I'm gonna do is spin that big flywheel I showed you earlier. And you'll notice, as the bale, these tongs pull the hay in, the auger pushes it to the center, and those claws, ah, see, I've got ah, a little resistance there. Those claws grab the hay. And cycle through. And then they do another cycle. Now this baler is called a New Idea 7210. And that claw will make a cycle probably one and a half times per second. So it's uh, about 100 strokes per minute. So what I just showed you was down below where the pickup was and where the hay's getting pulled in. Up top, you'll see what happens. That there is the ram. That's what, when all that weight and power is generated, that's the ram that compresses all the hay inside the chamber. So the ram starts coming back, flywheel spinning. The chamber is now opened because that those uh, teeth have now grabbed the hay and pulled it up. The chamber is opened, fills up with hay, and then it cycles through. Boom, boom, boom. Here comes the arm. Flywheel spins a little faster, and slam, packs the hay in there. You go through again, 
little bit faster. Keep in mind, it's doing this probably 100 times a minute. So it's going pretty fast. And those teeth are in there, uh, and those teeth are down below, grabbing hay as the chamber is opened. Chamber is opened, grabs the hay and pulls it in. Chamber closed, the, the forks extend down to grab more hay. Chamber opens up again, fork grabs the hay, pulls it in, packs the hay, and so on and so on. This side here, that, this compartment, there's another one on the other side, and that's where your twine goes. And in here, you see there's one piece of twine here, another piece of twine here, and it comes out the back side. It's going out the back of the baler here. Baling twine comes to the back, goes down below, goes into those arms where that needle is there. What happens is when this trip here, as this wheel is turning, because the hay is getting pushed, the hay as the hay pushes, that wheel turns. When that wheel turns, it moves this uh, trip here. When this trip gets tripped, it sends this arm and those needles up through the bale, up to the knotters. And that's where the needle comes up, catches the knotters here, it knots it, cuts it, drops the knot, and then your bale is complete. So anything after this point here is going to be a finished bale that just needs to get pushed out of the chamber, down below, and out to the back, dropped on the ground. These knotters, I can't even begin to explain how these things work because they're, they're just, if, if you told it was magic and fairies, I would believe you because it, it, it's just, it happens so fast and so quick that I need to figure out a way to get a camera in there to show how it's done. So that's going to be that video on how the square baler works. But it is hot. I am tired. I am hungry. It is lunchtime. So I'm going to go inside and get something to eat. Appreciate you asking the question. And I was happy to answer it. So if you have any more, feel free to send them. If anyone else does, send them as well. Thanks, everybody. Have a good one.